welcome back to the channel y'all in this video i appreciate all y'all feedback on the motor oil crisis and i'm coming up with these videos about the motor oil and stuff now i'm being getting some comments and i'm gonna tell y'all another thing i know a lot of y'all say well i'm going by the manufacturer recommendation you know on this one. that's cool too but some of the manufacturers don't know jack some of them guys ain't got no skills. Don't believe nothing the manufacturer tell you. Why they have so many callback recalls and stuff. Don't believe all that crap they said. I don't care what they engineered either. They engineered nothing. Now, that being said, now this is 10, if you guys can see, this is 10W30. Alright, your car might call for 10W30 when it's new. Now, I consider a new car using 10W30. That's cool. Because it's new. Of course. You know, everything moving. Everything brand new on the car. You know, you got to have a break-in period. <laughs> All right, so you drive your car. Let's say 50,000 miles. And I'm talking, especially American cars. Typically, don't get the miles that foreign cars do, you know. Like Honda, Toyota, Honda, my favorite two cars, BMW. You no, know, they get a lot of miles. But Honda and Toyota is the main two that gets a lot of miles. Pretty much, those two cars is best to use 30 and 40 weight. After a car get five years old, I don't care if it got 60,000, 80,000, or 100,000, or 150,000. doesn't matter. After five years old, and your car got over 50,000 miles on it, I recommend using 40 weight or 30 weight motor oil. That's just me. I mean, nothing, no one can change my beliefs. You know, no one can change my beliefs. That's just the way I think. Now, this 10W30, some people use 10W40 or whatever. This is good when a car is brand new. Because if, if, if I'm correct, now y'all know this oil, this oil going to break down to 10 weight. Which is pretty cool in a newer car. I'm talking a car maybe like a 2015, 16 on up to 2021. No more than five years old or six. That's a six at the most. 2015 on up to a 2021. You can get away with this type of oil. And in less than... Maybe 100,000 miles, you probably good. But after a car get around 8, 9, and 10 years old, I recommend you use 20, 30 weight and 40 weight oil. Because, like I said, y'all realize it or not, that this, that, that oil is going to break down. And once that engine get hot, more friction like this. The thinner the oil, the chance of friction like this. The thicker the oil, less chance, like this. Because it's thicker oil, it's thicker cushion there. The oil is thicker. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. By the oil being thicker, it can't come together and collide. Because the oil is just so thick. Moving parts doesn't wear out as fast. Now, why y'all think that a lot of people, now I've seen people, Let's say the car started to knock. Or uh, they get some uh, valves ticking or whatever the case might be. All right, now what this, why y'all think a lot of people use Lucas oil stabilizer? Now, I ain't saying it's going to change the world because we used it a lot back in the day. Now, I ain't talking about back in the 80s and early 90s and none of that stuff. I'm talking about like 2005 or six. we used it a lot. Me and my pops, we believed in it. <clears throat> I ain't for so old, so, you know, <laughs> it can't go way back you now. But I'm talking about back, like, mid-2000s, 2005, 6, 7, something like that. We used that Lucas. That Lucas, a lot of people swear by that Lucas oil stabilizer to this day. And if you ever use oil, Lucas oil stabilizer, y'all ever seen how thick that Lucas is when you... Some people say they put it in the engine. Engine started to rattle a little bit. Spark knock or 
that's a lethal tick. Yeah, so yeah, I see people put that Lucas oil stabilizer and a car that's ticking. Put it in there and it'll stop, stop uh, lifting ticks. So the thicker the oil, the less friction on your parts. That's why I recommend 10 to every 30 might be good for new cars. But when that car get past 6, 7, 8 years old, 100,000 miles, I recommend 30 weight oil or 40 weight oil. And stay close to around that same weight. That way your moving parts. Your moving parts won't wear out as fast. See, when you're using, y'all, see, people don't realize this is 10 to every 30, right? When that car get hot, if I'm not mistaken, it breaks down to 10 weight. It comes from 30 when it's cold and go down to 10 weight when it's hot. Imagine you got a car with over 100,000 miles on it, breaking down to 10 weight. Mm, kind of dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> now, I don't trust it. You know, some people do, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I, I like um, I like 30 and 40 weight in my cars. I don't really like that 10 weight stuff. I use stuff like this in my lawnmower, though. So I ain't a lawnmower, though. If the lawnmower blow up, I'm I'm talking a push lawnmower now. I mean, if it blow up, it's going to Walmart, pay 160, 70 bucks, get a new lawnmower. But yeah, I put this oil, I buy this oil from Dollar Tree. And I use it in my lawnmower. See, so some people put 20 debit 30 in that car. I don't recommend it. No, I just don't recommend it. Car get over 100,000 miles, I don't recommend it. It's more friction. Because what they ain't telling you, that oil breaks down to 10 weight. You're coming from 30 weight to 10 weight. See, so I want mine to stay one weight. So it get lubricated, your engine. And like I said, engine oil stabilized like Lucas. Look how when they pull that in some engines and they stop the lift the ticks. See, so that goes to tell you, the thicker the oil, the better. If you stand especially in a hot climate, you know, like Florida, Southern California, Hawaii, you better all use 30 and 40 weight oil. Because it stay hot all the time. And you want the oil to stay around one weight. You don't want to drop down from 30 weight to 10 weight. It gets thin. And you, the thinner the oil, the better chance your parts will have friction. Like that. That's why some people cause timing chains and stuff like that start to rattle. That's kind of got too thin of oil in it. That's my, that's my take on it. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.